Okay, so in this lesson here, we're going to go ahead and start UV mapping, and, and uh, we're going to go ahead and lay all the textures out for our little lenses here with inside our fog lights. And as you can see, there is 4, 8, 12, there's 16 of them. Um, and ideally, you wouldn't want to UV map all of them because there are somewhat of a, a lot of pieces, but for me, I mean, it doesn't necessarily matter. Um, it shouldn't really take us that long, and since it's all going to use pretty much the same texture, it shouldn't actually take us that long to go ahead and do them. But, you know, we're going to go ahead and do them all individually here. And so the easiest way to do it is just select it. We'll come up to our planar projection, and we're going to do it in the, uh, the z-axis. And we'll just have to, you know, basically do it for all of them. So just select one, select object mode, select the next one, select object mode, and just keep applying them and just keep doing in here and it shouldn't take us too long to go ahead and do this you don't want to do them all together because it, it just wouldn't come out right so doing them individually is you know the best uh, bet here for us and so we'll just keep selecting these and as you can see it doesn't really take too long to go ahead and do it to really have a a quick projection on these and since they aren't really that complicated it's you know fairly easy to go ahead and UV map okay and then we'll select last and then we'll just go ahead and select them all here let me go ahead and close the tool window there just gonna make sure I get all of these selected go into the UV map editor and as you can see they all came out you know pretty much the same so just select the UVs I'm gonna go ahead and scale it down a little bit there and now we can go ahead and basically make our material for them so let's go into our hyper shade bring the hyper shade window over V-ray material and we'll just uh, go ahead and rename this and we'll go fog light uh, lenses and same thing, we're just going to go ahead and plug a file node into our diffuse color slot. Turn the quadratic to off for the filter type. We use that white lens. And we're going to go ahead and edit the attributes here a little bit. We're going to turn the reflection to white, but we're not going to turn it so high there about 37.379 should be fine so let's go ahead and select all of these and we'll go ahead and apply the material to them and I just want to make sure that uh, the lens material is actually fine and yeah that looks pretty good there we'll go ahead and turn off the the wireframe just to make sure yeah that looks that looks fine and you can see how easy it is to go ahead and texture those um, in the next lesson we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and start actually applying the normal maps for all these lens textures and that'll just take a little bit of time because we need to make sure that we plug in a normal map that's actually going to work the way that it should work and we sort of want to capture a lot of detail or be able to uh, put in a lot of detail into our normal map so in the next lesson we'll come back and we'll start doing that